A simple way to memorize trigonometric ratios. For any acute angle of a right angled triangle, there are six trigonometric ratios sine in short sine, cosine in short cos, tangent in short dan, coscant in short cosec, secant in short second, and cotangent in short cot. These ratios give the relationship between the angle and the sides of the triangle. For angle A, opposite side is side BC and adjacent side is side AB. For angle C, opposite side is side AB and adjacent side is side BC. The sine of an acute angle is defined as the ratio of the length of the side that is opposite that angle to the length of the longest side, that is the hypotenuse, of the triangle. The cos of an acute angle is defined as the ratio of the length of the side that is adjacent that angle to the length of the hypotenuse of the triangle. The tan of an acute angle is defined as the ratio of the length of the side that is opposite that angle to the length of the side that is adjacent that angle of the triangle. The cosec of an acute angle is defined as the ratio of the hypotenuse to the length of the side that is opposite that angle of the triangle. The sec of an acute angle is defined as the ratio of the hypotenuse to the length of the side that is adjacent that angle of the triangle. The cot of an acute angle is defined as the ratio of the length of the side that is adjacent that angle to the length of the side that is opposite that angle of the triangle. Let us try to remember the first three trigonometric ratios. Memorizing this mnemonic will help us to remember the trigonometric ratios in correct order. The mnemonic is as follows. Students of Heston College always have trouble over accommodation. Sine theta is equal to opposite side of angle theta divided by hypotenuse. Because theta is equal to Adjacent side of angle theta divided by hypotenuse tan theta is equal to opposite side of angle theta divided by adjacent side of angle theta. Now, we can memorize the next three trigonometric ratios that is cosec, second, and cot ratio. Cosec and sine ratio are reciprocal, that is multiplicative inverse, of each other. Second cos ratio are reciprocal of each other. Cot and tan ratio are reciprocal of each other. We know sine ratio. Sine theta is equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse. Also, cosec and sine ratio are multiplicative inverse of each other. Hence, we can easily write cosec ratio. Cosec theta is equal to hypotenuse divided by opposite side. Now the next, that is sec ratio. We know cos ratio. Cos theta is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. Also, second cos ratio are multiplicative inverse of each other. Hence, we can easily write sec ratio. Sec theta is equal to hypotenuse divided by adjacent side. Now the next, that is cot ratio. We know tan ratio. Tan theta is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side. Also, cot and tan ratio are multiplicative inverse of each other. Hence, we can easily write cot ratio. Cot theta is equal to adjacent side divided by opposite side. Once again we can repeat the trigonometric ratios. Sine theta is equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse. Cos theta is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. 
tan theta is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side cosec theta is equal to hypotenuse divided by opposite side sec theta is equal to hypotenuse divided by adjacent side cot theta is equal to adjacent side divided by opposite side interrelation between trigonometric ratios sine theta is equal to 1 divided by cosec theta cosec theta is equal to 1 divided by sine theta cos theta is equal to 1 divided by sec theta sec theta is equal to 1 divided by cos theta tan theta is equal to 1 divided by cot theta cot theta is equal to 1 divided by tan theta tan theta is equal to sine theta divided by cos theta cot theta is equal to cos theta divided by sine theta